Now we will see Nginx and Docker Compose. We have seen Django Web Development, Gunicorn, Docker Container, and now it's time for Nginx Container and Docker Compose. I have created a folder Nginx, and in this folder I have two files: default.conf and Docker file. So let view these two files one by one, and let me close the other files. Okay. So I have these two files. Docker file and default conf. In default conf, I have upstream from Django, and the server is Django app. You might not sure from where this Django app is coming from. We will see it later because this is coming from Docker Compose, and this is getting data from 8000 port. So the data from 8000 port is coming to this Django app from by the Django app. Now we have the server, which is from 880. This Django application, which is running on 8000 port, is now re redirected to port 80. Maybe say that I'm not uh, too much good in Nginx, and we have three location file. The first location file is the basically the proxy path. This Django and this Django is basically the same. So we just you can use it as it is, and then we have static file and media file. In the previous one, I have shown you the Docker container. That our Docker container have a file called as app, and inside that we have a sub app, and inside sub app we have static. So we have defined the location for static and location for media file. So now our Nginx can read the static and media file and can serve this. Our Junicon G Junicon server can run this Django app, and our Nginx can run this static file and media file. you can learn about this default configuration or later and now we can see that how this i just took it from somewhere uh, basically i will link that in the description that from where i have got this default.com file okay so we will now have to see from where we got this django name and this django app uh, basically we have to see this django app but before that let's go to this docker file from the docker hub we have got this package nginx file and we have copied this default.conf which is in the folder nginx and put it in the etc nginx conf.d and put it in this direction or in this directory now it's the time to for one important thing which is basically the docker compose file and for docker compose file we need to know a couple of things uh, let's see that Let me create a Docker Compose file. This is basically a YAML file. It looked like a bit strange in the beginning when you were dealing it for the first time, but when you get used of it, it is quite easy. The first thing you have to define the version, and you can read the version in the Docker Compose. You can read there are different version, version three, version two, version one, and in version three there are sub versions such as three point eight, three point seven, and I am going to just use three. Whatever the latest version, it will take that version. Now I need to define different services. I have two services. One is the Django app, and other service is the Nginx. Now I am going to rename it. I am going to name my Django app as. This Django app is basically defined in this configuration file, which is inside this uh, Nginx. This is basically this Django file we defined here. If we define it as Django application, then you have to define it as Django application. But let define the Django app, and the other one is basically Nginx. in django application we have volumes you can consider the volumes as storages we are going to have two storages one for the static file and one for the media file so i say static static wall 
you can name it whatever you want just I'm going to call it static wall and the other one is I'm going to call it as media wall and now the, I'm going to say where my static file is being residing my static file is inside the app which is we have seen in the container in previous section and inside app we have inside the sub app and inside the sub app we have static folder same with the media folder our media folder inside the app this app is basically from this work, working directory because our static and media file are in this working directory which is named app so we, that's why we are using here the word app instead of my app and the same thing I have to define in nginx After that, I have to define the build. Uh, let's say that I define the build here. Where the Docker file of this Django application is adding, it's in the same directory where the default Docker compose file is. So we can define it this way. Where the build of the Nginx is, it's inside this Nginx folder that is docker file of nginx inside the nginx folder so we have to define it as we have to define the folder of nginx next we have to define the ports the ports of this uh, django app is basically 8000 because we are getting data from 8000 and the ports are 8000 to 8000 and the port of this nginx is basically at because nginx is serving at the port at in our case and our nginx depends upon the Django app that if our Django app is running we need to run the nginx if our Django app is not running we don't need to run the nginx so we have defined the volumes ports and uh, what we have to define left run one we we need to define another thing which is basically volume this should be under the services level and it's volumes and we have two volumes static volume and media volume whatever we define in this static but we whatever the name we define we need to define it also in the beginning of the volume just give the orientation okay now let's run this and maybe we got some error and we will figure out whatever we got okay the command is docker dash compose up dash dash build okay the composer file is invalid because it should be a string okay we need to make it as string uh, maybe it will take a couple of minutes or seconds to run this first it will run it the Django application then it will run the nginx currently it's inside the Django app and it's installing the packages Okay, we got an error saying that no matching distribution found from ggnicorn which means that there is some spells error in the ggnicorn file. So let's go to the requirement and I don't know ggnicorn. Okay, and I have to run it again because I just fix it and it will take 
less time maybe so let's i'm going to pause this until this is done django compose build has been completed and now let's go to this browser and see by the way the and see that we can see that we can see the colors and this is static file which means that we are going to serve the static file but let me check the docker file that we are not we are serving my unicorn g unicorn so now we can see that we are serving the django application with g unicorn and we are serving the static file that is css file by nginx and both are working now we need to do one more thing and let me cancel this and we need to do one more thing that we need to define an environment variable why we want to have environment variable because when you are going to push your code on the github you don't want to everyone see your secret file your password and things like that and your setting that's why you need to define an environment variable you can define your environment variable anywhere let me define it here it is going to carry the secret file and the debug option because right now we have these only two things so i'm going to have the secret file from here and going to put it environment variable and then i need to remove the spaces and i also need to remove this ending quotation and same for the debug option we are not right now having debug equal to true we will later change equal to false we and we are going to going for production server production setup okay now we need another python package which is basically decouple python decouple uh, let me google python decouple and let install that and this is the package we are going to we are going to read our environment variable file let me put it inside the requirement.txt file and let me also install it this has been installed now need, we need to import it inside the settings.py file from decouple Um, actually our debug is something different than the secret file because just true or false so there's a bit of different way of writing this so now let's go to cd my app and just simply check with python that whether this is working or not okay config spelling are still wrong secret key is not defined um, okay the basically it's saying secret key is not defined because it should be a string like we say in debug that it should be a string not a variable so now we are going to run it and this will work okay this is working now we need to define this secret key inside our docker compose file so i'm going inside my docker compose file and below the ports or you can define it where it is you can define it even here we can define environment files and the path is dot env so let close this and now we are not we are again going to use docker compose and let go a step behind okay now run again you can see that's still working let me check in for benito mode okay it's not working here you can see that it's not working because we are not going through prep url the prep url is this one 0.0.0, .0. if i do this it's just running gunicorn if i do this this will running the gunic this will running the nginx server so we have configured we configured the nginx server and one thing i would like to mention that in the previous step if i go to the admin section 
let's say I am at the website and I go to the admin then you can see that the CSS of admin file isn't being served what is the reason is that I have to store the static file of the admin section into this static folder for that I have to cancel this and then I have to do I have to go to my app and python manage.py collect static it will collect every static file from every, everywhere such as from django admin to this folder and I have to say yes and 128 static file copied to this folder now I have to again do docker compose up and now if I check this and see that whether it served the collective file no not yet okay what I can do is that maybe I can simply first prune out of this thing docker system prune my data all data volumes and now if I do docker compose up <coughs> and let's check it again okay no okay it will take some time to uh, create this docker compose file to create this container so let me wait till then and we can see that whether the static file of an admin has been created successfully has been served successfully or not wait till then and see now we can see that our build has been completed now it's time to go to this again and see that if we can get the CSS file or the static file for the admin panel and here I run it you can see that the admin panel will show some sort of corrupted before now looks okay this is the end of this section in the next section we will see AWS thank you